I'm Lisa Birnbach for Houdini.com. Holiday office parties could be disastrous. We've all heard of or even lived through episodes that have eventually haunted us. But the company Christmas party can be a great opportunity if you play it right. To help us through this very tricky time, Sarah Ivins, editor-in-chief of OK America and the author of numerous modern girl guides, is here to help tell us how. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How do you get through the office party without making a disgrace out of yourself? Well, the biggest thing is not to drink too much, of course, but there are a few um, easy tips that everyone can remember to make sure they make the right impression on the right people without boring them or um, making them do anything embarrassing. So, but the big key is not to drink too much. Now, the temptation is also to somehow interact with your boss, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to get your boss to notice you at the Christmas party? I think Christmas parties are a great way to, um, you know, to spend more time with your boss and to talk to him, her, and um, really make a good impression on them. What you don't want to do is turn it into a very, very boring meeting. You don't want to get them in the corner of the room, separate them from their friends and their colleagues and really just pound them with your resume and how great you are and how fabulous you are and all the figures from the last year. That is exactly what you don't want to do. Right. What you want to do is you want to be charming, start a conversation, include the people around them as well, not cut them off and sort of be all needy and attention grabbing. You want to talk to the people around them as well, not just concentrate on your boss. You want to, if they're with their partner, you need to be polite to their partner as well because your boss, of course, will notice that if you're excluding his, her wife, partner, whatever. So you need to be really, really inclusive and friendly and not just bore them with office politics or making fun of people in the office. You want to be saying how great the party is, did you have anything to do with it, this is fun, talking about the future, making you know general comments about what's gone on in the world that day. It doesn't all need to be about the office. How do you do all that and not look like a suck up? Be charming. Be charming and don't, as I said, don't be very much, and I did this and I did that and I'm so fabulous. It needs to be about, didn't the team do great? Thank you for throwing this party. It's a great night out for us all. We've all worked hard. We all can't wait for next year. You know, just be charming and laid back about the whole thing. You just need to make sure that you're not, I really can't bear it when someone gets a boss in a corner and, you know, I'm a boss, so I can really spot it a mile off when people are doing it to me. Some people are all about putting other people down to make themselves look better. That is most good bosses, that's their worst fear, they hate that. What you have to do is be totally charming and confident, but by, by upping your whole team and by being you know, super happy about the whole company, not just about your achievements. Mm -hmm. And keys to a good impression. I mean, obviously, the cl what you wear and how you behave, not just with your boss, but with others, right? Yeah, absolutely, at the Christmas party, you should dress, you know, have more fun with your wardrobe than you would during a normal day in the office, of course. But don't go crazy. This isn't the time to, you know, bring out your 80s leggings or to wear a low-cut dress hoping you can attract the man in accounts with your cleavage. That is not <laughs> what you should be doing. Mm. I know, Dan. I mean, it's me. my favourite thing, really, but I've learned, <laughs> I've learned the hard way not to do that. Right. So um, what you have to do is just wear something you feel really confident and comfortable in. Don't go over the top. Wear a little black dress that you know works wonders for your figure gives you a bit of a, you know, an extra kick. You know, wear heels. If you don't normally wear heels in the office, wear heels. That'll make you feel fabulous. You'll look different and look sexier, but not tarty. That's the key. Don't do Sexy, tarty. Sexy, but not tarty. Don't do tarty. And in terms of, uh uh, just the way you comport yourself with your coworkers. This is a good night to be friendly to everybody, not uh, bring feuds back into the party. This is not the night to have a few too many drinks and to, you know, grab the girl that's been giving you dirty looks in the restrooms and to, you know, sort it outside. This <laughs> right. is not the night. No night is the night to do that. But this is certainly not the night because everyone will be, everyone will be looking for something to gossip about the next morning. Do remember that at office parties the next day, everyone crawls into work feeling lousy, not wanting to do anything useful, just gossiping about what happened the night before. So do remember that and do act appropriately. And probably no dancing on furniture? Uh, I'm personally an advocate for dancing on furniture. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You're not hurting the furniture. So I don't know, dance with furniture, just make sure you're wearing knickers. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. For Houdini.com, I'm Lisa Birnbach.